Welcome to beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. And that's actually the sign you see when you drive into Las Vegas. And normally there's lots of lots of people here. But if you look around, there's nobody here because the GRV likes to do stuff not everybody is doing. So I could do a lot of videos here in Vegas, but for right now, I just want to do like a night video because I really like it when it's dark and all the lights are shining. I think Vegas looks much better then. So right now, we're just going to walk around at night and I show you what Vegas looks like at night. This is the line to check into the hotel here. Really long hallways and it takes you about, I'm not kidding, maybe seven to 10 minutes to go from your car all the way to your hotel room. But we are here right now, I'm gonna show you. So let's check it out. Whoa. Start with the restroom here. First, it smells really good when you come in here. It looks really clean. Huge mural which I don't really need when I take my shirt off. I don't really like to see myself. And look at this, nice bathroom. And I'm gonna take a bath tonight for sure. That's big enough for me to fit in there. So I would say really good. I can look at my pimples here really big. Got like a little storage here iron board iron blow dryer really nice and i paid 90 dollars for this room for each night i'm staying here for two nights they have a safe here and they got a refrigerator really nice but then also this is really cool, the view. It's a little glare here right now. Hopefully you can see. This is the strip. This is the mirage on the bottom. I can actually see my car. My car is all the way down there. So I gotta go here, here, all the way up to the hotel room. The pool is empty. And they actually have Free parking here. The Venetian on the left. Caesar's Palace. Cosmopolitan. Paris. The Mirage. Testing the bed. Really good. Gotta say, Treasure Island charging 90 bucks. Good. Yesterday that charged about $360 because it was New Year's. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I always say Vegas looks nice during the day, but I think it looks really nice at night. Just too bad that you have all the reflection in there. On most of the parking structure, you can actually walk all the way to the top. And from there, you got the best view. I'm on top of the parking garage from the Treasure Island Hotel. My room is right here. There's the Palazzo, the Spears, you cannot really see too good. The Venetian, you got really good view from up here. If you go to this parking structure, you got even a better view. There's Harris, the Mirage, Caesar's Palace. And that's actually the sign you see when you drive into Las Vegas. And normally there's lots of lots of people here, but if you look around, there's nobody here because the GRV likes to do stuff not everybody is doing. I like it, it looks really nice.
Everybody only takes a picture from the front where it says, Welcome to fabulous Las Vegas. Nobody takes a picture of drive careful, come back soon. This side is pretty nice too. Before I walk around, I wanted to make sure I got some good footage of the spear. I thought it was only lit till 12 o'clock at night, but it's actually lit 24 hours and they spend around $500,000 a month on electricity. Wow. There's one side street here where you can park your car and then you just walk here and you got the best view of the spears. That thing is huge. And that's how easy it is. You come here and film the spears. Pretty amazing, huh? Look at this. Changing the colors. I can just stand here literally for a while and watch this thing. There's always something new coming up. You can also go on top of the parking structure and then you actually get this view here. What? All black? What's gonna happen? Uh oh. Yeah, you got really good view from up here. See, when you walk around the casinos, you always see something cool. Look at this unique motorcycle here at the Treasure Island Casino. Wow. Like a corset. And here you see the boots, the high heels. I would ride that bike. Yes, I would. I can see myself riding it. It is three o'clock in the morning and there's nobody out here besides the GRV. And that's how I like it. It's a pretty cool hotel. Lots of memories too. They used to have a show here every night i think every 20 or 30 minutes i don't remember but they had like a fight scene of pirates up here people were jumping from here up into the water that was back in the days nice now they're not doing shows anymore and i remember this ship was all the way down here and then it was coming down here they were fighting shooting flames it was a good show and every night this whole place was full of people once i stayed at the encore with my friend thomas he booked it from germany that's also a really good hotel palazzo now we're walking over across the street to the venetian can't believe that nobody's here the detail of the ship Nice. If you look closely, the upper part is canvas. This is not real. They just put it there so you don't see all the cranes and stuff. But they're building this one. When you think about Vegas, you think about Siegfried and Roy, the duo that actually conquered Vegas with their magic. You know which one is Siegfried and which one is Roy? Who's this? This is actually Siegfried and this is Roy and this is Montecor. He actually did him doing the show and pulled him off the stage. That was years ago. I've seen that show a few times. The big billboard that was right here that showed him up here for years. And there's mom before she went to the show. They were the only one. They had like a contract for I don't know how many years. There's the picture right there. And I also got a picture of my mom and my dad standing here. Siegfried and Roy had the longest running show in Vegas and the last show was 2009. A lot of people come by to take pictures of this statue. They don't even know who they are anymore. And that's how life is. After, I don't know how many years, nobody thinks of you anymore. I still remember them though. They honored those two guys with their own drive right here in front of the Mirage. 
And you know the GRV, he always likes to match up pictures. This is Siegfried, where he's standing right in front of the sign. In front of the Mirage. Right in front of the Mirage, they had this volcano that erupts, but it's not working right now anymore. But what I think is way more interesting is the guy who's standing right here. Look at this. The German in Venice, long, long time ago. At one time, I stayed six weeks in Vegas, believe it or not. I remember standing here during the day and I thought, wow, this looks like paradise here. And there's mom again, long time ago. That was the active volcano and flames shoot up. And now you come down here and you're probably wondering, who is that girl standing next to the GIV? You know what they say, right? What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Young GIV was standing right here. Man, all, all that stuff is coming back to my memories. I had a good time in this hotel here before. The volcano still works, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 p.m. But I heard they're going to replace it soon with the big guitar from the Hot Rock Cafe. They're going to build a brand new hotel here, I think. They used to have converter bells. They bring you up there and come down here. All this change. But I always like this area right here. It's like a sanctuary for animals they had in the back. They had dolphins back there. They displayed the white tigers down there and all that stuff. So right when you walked in here, they had glass in an angle right here. And all this behind used to be a habitat for the white tigers. And you just walk here and you could see the tigers behind the glass. Wow, everything changed so much. And they used to have like a store here where you could buy all kinds of merchandise from Siegfried and Roy. I spent a lot of time here looking at the tigers. Even my mom and my dad were here too. It was right there, Siegfried and Roy. Now there's Shin Lim. He's a good magician too. But look at all this gold here, those gold lions in front of the forum at the Caesar's Palace. It's closed right now. I gotta show you during the day. I stayed at the Harris a few times. There's Donny Osman. I didn't even know that he was still performing. The glitz, the glamour, and the reality. Really cool looking statues here at the forum shops. They recreated the fountain from Rome here. There's the Colosseum where Adele is performing. And I think for the longest, it was Celine Dion who was performing here at Caesar's Palace. Nice bronze statues. Caesar. They even have a statue of Caesar right here. There's Big Caesar and there's Little Caesar. All those free passes here for the GIV because I'm the VIP. They pick you up in a limousine. It's free, free cover. Why am I not doing this? I don't know. The link used to be the Imperial Palace Hotel. And on top of the hotel, they had like a car museum. They had like really cool cars. Elvis Presley cars, Adolf Hitler's car. Lots of cars, I remember that. And of course, we all remember the Caesar's Palace from the movie, The Hangover, where the wolf pack were hanging out with Mike Tyson. I always wanted to do a movie location video. I should do it one day. Lots of pictures you can match up. Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen. 
there we got the Flamingo. I think it was one of the first hotels they had in Vegas. And right in front of the Caesars Palace, they got this shrine here. I don't know what they're doing here. Let the games begin. What do you call a lion with wings? I think Griffin. Pegasus is the horse with wings, I think. Hello from the other side. How ironic is this? In the middle of the night, those guys have leaf blowers here. I thought they only have that in Beverly Hills. It doesn't matter where I do a video, they always have those leaf blowers there. I can't find the picture where the young GIE was standing right here. I have so many pictures. I'm inside the lobby right now. And there's one scene where they check into the hotel. He's standing right here. Here you see another angle. There's also some other movie locations. This is actually where Rain Man played cards with Tom Cruise. It was right here where Rain Man was playing poker with Tom Cruise. You can tell by the ceiling, it looks exactly the same. There's one scene from the movie Hangover where they all stand here and look upwards towards the mattress hanging on top of that statue. We're standing there looking up here and this is where the mattress was stuck on that guy's finger it really feels like you're in Rome when you see all those statues oh no it's not here anymore this used to be a nightclub right here and there used to be a ship there was a lady in the front and she had those big boobs of this and uh, every time I walk by to the nightclub, I actually touched them. And that was also part of a movie, Rain Man. They walked by that statue. I remember it like yesterday, but now it's Nobu, a restaurant. They have one in Malibu too. So that was the front of the ship and that was right here. And then Rain Man is walking down here with Tom Cruise. It was right here. This used to be a street going all the way down and in Rain Man you see Dustin Hoffman driving down here in their car hitting the curb all the time. There's another angle. It was exactly here but it looks like they changed it a little bit. You know how many times I walk by here and I never really look closely to that statue? Wow. Let's walk over from the Caesars Palace to the Bellagio. They never used to have those bridges. You could just walk straight, cross the street. No, now you have to go up here, go here, go here, go down here, go here, and then you're over there. Crazy. Look at the horse with the fishtail. Now we had like a lion with wings, a horse with wings. But what is this? A horse as a fish? What do you call those? Thousand dollar hotel rooms. Maybe something totally random, but nice outfit. Look at those boots here. This is the shopping mile inside the Bellagio, Rodeo Drive of the Bellagio. Another good outfit. I like those spinning doors here. I didn't really plan to do all those movie locations tonight, but there was one I really like, but I can't really get to it because they put like this danger um, tape here. I don't even know what they're doing. 
but they cut all those trees off. They had like bleachers here for the Formula One race. They cut all those and now they replanted new ones. And now they're putting up a new tree up there. See that? We move in a little bit. So that's what they're doing right now. But there was one picture I wanted to match up. It's from the movie Ocean Eleven. They all were standing right in front of it. But the real location was a little bit further down here. Ocean Eleven. What are they doing a news story about? Because this section is not cleaned up yet. Where is he filming me? I love matching up pictures. See the flamingo sign right here? There's the Mirage sign right here. And there's the Mirage right here. And I was standing approximately right here a little bit over 32 years ago. Right there, unbelievable. The GIV in Vegas. What was I thinking when wearing no shirt? It kind of feels good to look at those pictures and it kind of feels bad to look at the pictures. Time went like this. I can always say that. When you're really close to the buildings, they don't look that big. But they're actually big. I've been walking around the whole time. It's 6.30 right now. In 30 minutes, the sun comes up. Who said YouTube is not a job? But it's a fun job to remember all the good times. See, we always look up to people that got it better than us. We should be happy for what we got. I am now in the real heart of Venice, Italy. There's the Rialto Bridge. And then we got the Grand Canal. Over there. The real German in Venice. Venice, Italy. Molte bene. The gondolas and the water is back because of the F1. They also put bleachers up here. They drained the whole water. But finally it's back. Look at all the detail here. Wow. Even that big line up here. And since we are at the Venetian, we had to come check out the place because they had those crazy murals on the walls. And we all remember that Michael Jackson went shopping upstairs in one of the shops. That was his favorite store. Escalator's going down now, but when Michael was here, the escalator was actually going up. The ceiling is really impressive. And this is where Michael Jackson walked to his favorite store. I think those are all hand painted. And look at this sign here. Welcome to fabulous Las Vegas. You don't really have to go and stand in line or take a picture. You can do it right here. This is before you walked in. And this was his favorite store. That's when he was inside. Walking up those stairs. And he's like, Yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo! Did I buy this one already? I think I bought this one. I bought this one. Yoo-hoo! Did I buy this one? Yeah, that is definitely Michael Jackson style. He had a chair. He was sitting on one of those. He can take a gondola ride. I don't know what time they're going to open. But the sky actually fools you. Feels like it's daylight, but it's dark outside still. Nobody inside. Later on, this place is gonna be packed and the guy who steers the gondola actually sings too, because there's a really good echo here. My favorite song, 
Kunte Partido. Sounds good, huh? I don't even know how to sing. I'm not sure, but I think it's around $40 for one of those gondola rides. But it's so romantic. Potarionte palare, unce mare te taro. Lucimante parionte palare. Definitely gotta check out this gallery later on. Batman and Catwoman. Hello, where is everybody? Where is everybody? We love the Venetian and I think all the rooms here are suites. Wow, check out the bathroom here. Everything gold. Golden frames and gold right here over the toilet. I celebrate you. Nice chandelier. This casino is huge. I tried to find the other location. It's not easy. You can spend hours and hours in here. Whoa. That looks amazing. I haven't been in this part of the hotel. But I see this in the video, so it must be somewhere here. Look, it's like 3D here. Looks like you got to step on each one of them. I'm speechless, I don't know what to tell you. But it was right here where he was standing. Let's check out whatever this is here. Wow, the lions on here. This is incredible just to look at it. It was right here where Mr. Bashir and Michael Jackson arrived. Wow, I spent all night walking around. Sun is up already, but it was worth it. Now I gotta lay down and take a little nap. I can't believe all the little detail here. Good morning, Las Vegas! Well, my friends, that was the night out with the GIV in Vegas. I hope you had as much fun as I had doing this. I've seen a lot and I had a lot of good memories. And if you happen to like this video I did tonight, maybe you can give it a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and subscribe to the GIV for 2024. And that was it. Arrivederci, ciao ciao bella. Tschüssing.